Recent weeks have seen a dramatic escalation of tensions between Iran and Israel. This surge in hostility was ignited by a series of Iranian ballistic missile attacks targeting Israeli territory. The attacks, condemned by Israel and its allies, have raised alarm bells across the region. Israel, vowing a forceful response, claims the attacks were unprovoked. Iran, however, presents a different narrative. It asserts that the missile launches were retaliatory measures. These were in response to alleged Israeli airstrikes on Iranian military facilities. The back-and-forth accusations underscore the deep-rooted animosity between the two nations. In the wake of the missile attacks, Iran has issued a stark warning to its Arab neighbors and U.S. allies in the region. The message, delivered through diplomatic channels, warns against aiding Israel in any counterstrike. This warning has sent shockwaves through the Gulf states like Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Qatar. They host U.S. military bases and share concerns about Iran's military ambitions. But they fear the devastation of a wider conflict, especially given their reliance on the Strait of Hormuz for oil flow. The Gulf states are facing intense pressure from all sides. The United States, a long-standing ally, is pushing for a united front against Iran. They seek to curtail its nuclear ambitions and regional influence. However, the Gulf states, wary of becoming collateral damage in a potential conflict, are hesitant to offer unqualified support. Their primary concern lies in the potential economic fallout from a regional conflict. The Strait of Hormuz, a narrow waterway through which a significant portion of the world's oil supply passes, is particularly vulnerable to disruption. Any conflict in the region could lead to a spike in oil prices, sending shockwaves through the global economy. The Gulf states have made it clear that they prioritize de-escalation and dialogue. They are urging both Iran and Israel to exercise restraint and seek a diplomatic solution to the crisis. Their message is clear, a military confrontation would be disastrous for all parties involved. In response to the escalating tensions, the United States has imposed a new wave of sanctions targeting Iran's oil and petrochemical industries. These sanctions, announced by the U.S. Treasury and State Departments, are designed to cripple Iran's ability to finance its military activities and support for regional proxies. This latest round of sanctions focuses on Iran's so-called Shadow Fleet, a network of tankers and shipping companies used to circumvent previous sanctions and smuggle Iranian oil onto the global market. By disrupting this network, the U.S. hopes to starve the Iranian regime of much-needed revenue. However, the effectiveness of these sanctions remains uncertain. Iran has proven adept at evading sanctions in the past, finding creative ways to sell its oil and maintain its economy. Furthermore, there are concerns that these sanctions could backfire, pushing Iran to retaliate in unpredictable ways, further destabilizing the region. The current crisis has exposed the fragility of alliances in the Middle East. The U.S., once the undisputed power broker in the region, is now facing growing skepticism from its traditional allies. The Gulf states, caught between their security concerns and economic interests, are increasingly charting their own course. This shift in the regional power balance has created a dangerous vacuum. Iran, sensing an opportunity, is exploiting the situation to advance its own agenda. Israel, feeling increasingly isolated, is more likely to take unilateral military action, potentially sparking a wider conflict. The stakes are incredibly high. The Middle East stands at a crossroads. The path chosen in the coming days and weeks will have profound consequences for the region and the world. The international community must work together to de-escalate tensions, encourage dialogue, and prevent a catastrophic conflict.